is me, Charmise, and I wanted to do a super fun video for you guys today. Today is May 19th, and it's actually the day that I attained my bachelor's degree from Clark Atlanta University. I received my bachelor's in communications, focusing in public relations, and that was exactly 12 years ago. So I wanted to do a super fun video for the class of 2020. I even poured myself a little glass of wine. Congratulations to the class of 2020, whether you're culminating or graduating. You know, there's lots of kindergarten graduates, um, people moving from middle school to high school. Congratulations. There's high school graduates and college graduates and beyond. So congratulations to you all. I wanted to give my take on just a couple of tips for all those graduating and moving forward with their life. So um, again, cheers to you. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is don't compare yourself to others. So many times, especially um, in college, you are comparing yourself to someone else's career path. I know for me, I was really envious of the business majors. It just seemed like they all got like really cool jobs at really cool companies and were making really great money. And I was kind of struggling to find my way. Keep in mind, a lot of people don't always work in the field that they studied. You know, sometimes your career and life takes you in a different direction. So stay in your own lane and don't compare yourself to others. Your time will come. You just got to keep at it. But if you're looking at someone else, you know, the grass is always greener. But you can't compare yourself to someone else's path, their skill set, um, and the opportunities that come their way. So don't compare yourself. The next thing that I want to talk about is continue to network and resource. While you're in college, you're going to meet a lot of different people and you should be networking. Continue to maintain those networks. Keep the business cards that you have. Reach out to your former classmates and colleagues. Um, ensure that you're keeping in touch with the career center or the professors that you were talking to. Those could be people and potential job leads for you. So continue to network um, and continue to make yourself marketable. But don't be so excited about the graduation piece that you don't remember you know, the, the people that you met along the way, you never know what resources they may have for you or what job leads they may have. Um, it's really important to keep those lines of communication open. The last thing that I want to talk about is the obvious. We are in a time right now where so much has changed for everyone, really. And uh, one thing that I've said to multiple 2020 graduates is you weren't dealt the best cards. But the thing that I say immediately after, play the deck anyway. Play those cards anyway. Make this situation work for you. Make it advantageous for you. And get creative, get innovative, but make it work. We are all so proud of you. We are so excited to see what is coming next for you. And just keep at it. And if all else fails and you're still unsure, go back to school. You know, it's okay if you graduated and you don't feel like you're there yet. Go to graduate school, do some continued education, um, find a trade, figure it out. It doesn't stop now for you. The journey is really just beginning. Again, congratulations. We are so proud of you. We're so excited for you. And enjoy your time. This is your time. Congratulations.